Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are having one very interesting system of equations where we are going to evaluate x power 5 plus y power 5 plus z power 5. So let's get started by writing equation number 1, 2 and 3. Now I will consider our equation 1, x plus y plus z equal to 6. Now I will take squaring both sides. Power 2, power 2, a plus b plus c whole square formula. It will become x square plus y square plus z square plus twice of xy plus yz plus zx. And right hand side is 36. Now from equation number 2, I can write here 18. So 18 plus twice of xy plus yz plus zx equal to 36. So from here I can write twice of xy plus yz plus zx equal to 36 minus 18. So 18. So I will be writing here xy plus yz plus zx value. This will be 18 over 2, so 9. This equation I will call equation number 4. Now I will consider equation 3. So root x plus root y plus root z, it is equal to 4. Now again I will consider squaring both sides. So power 2, power 2. Again, I will consider a plus b plus c whole square identity. So, I will be writing root x square, so x, root y square, so y, root z square, so z, plus twice of a b, so I will write square root x y, plus square root y z, plus square root z x, and right hand side is 16. Now from equation number 1, here I will be writing 6. So 6 plus 2 times square root xy plus square root yz plus square root zx. This will become 16. So I can write twice of square root xy plus square root yz plus square root zx. This will become 16 minus 6, so 10. So from here we are having root xy plus root yz plus root zx value. This will become 5. Now I will consider squaring of the same equation. So let us write squaring both sides. So I will write here xy plus yz root of xy whole square xy root of yz whole square yz. So I am writing zx plus twice of square root xy square z plus square root yz square x plus square root z x square y bracket closed and right hand side it is 25. Now from equation number 4 here I will be writing 9. So I will write 9 plus 2 times. Now I will take square root x y z common. Square root x y z. So in bracket we will be having root x or better is to write root y plus root z plus root x same as root x plus root y plus root z and right hand side is 25. Now root x plus root y plus root z it is given to us 4. So I can write it is 9 plus 8 square root x y z. Let me write here 9 plus 2 square root x y z 
and that bracket is as per this equation, we will be writing 4. And right hand side is 25. So I can write here 9 plus 8 square root xyz equal to 25. So 8 square root xyz, I will be writing 25 minus 9, 16. So square root xyz, 16 over 8 is 2. So I will be writing xyz equal to 4. And this equation we can call equation number 5. Now if you will see, we have got three equations. This is our first equation. Let me write here x plus y plus z equal to 6. Now second equation is equation number 4. xy plus yz plus zx equal to 9. And this is our third equation xyz equal to 4. Sum of roots, sum of roots taken two at a time, product of roots. So we can think about one cubic equation whose roots are x, y, z and we can solve that cubic equation itself for the value of x, y, z. So I can frame one cubic equation as per formula. Let me consider variable t, t cube minus sum of roots, so 6 it is, times t square plus sum of roots taken two at a time. So equation number 4, it is 90 and then we will be writing product of roots with minus sign. So it will become minus 4 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this cubic equation for x, y, z. So if you will see, I can write from here. If I will simply add the coefficient 1 minus 6 plus 9 minus 4. So it is 10 minus 10 which is true 0. So I can easily factorize this equation. So t minus 1 because 1 is satisfying. So t minus 1 is one factor. Using synthetic division method or division method we can find out the other factor. It is t square minus 5t plus 4 equal to 0. I am not solving that. Now if I will factorize this one also, so I can easily write it is t minus 1 times t minus 4 equal to 0. So our ultimate equation is t minus 1 times t minus 1 times t minus 4 equal to 0 or I can write t minus 1 whole square t minus 4 equal to 0. So let me write the value of t. So I can write t equal to 1, 1 and 4. The roots of cubic equation. Now roots of cubic equations equation is x, y and z. So I will write x, y and z. So I can write ordered triplet x, y, z. It will be equal to 1, 1, 4. Then we can write 1, 4, 1. Then we can write 4, 1, 1. This is our possible x, y, z triplet. Now we have to calculate the value of x power 5 plus y power 5 plus z power 5. Let us put any of this triplet value. Let's calculate this value. So I will calculate. Let us consider x1, y1 and z4. So our expression, let me call this as e. So our expression will become x power 5 plus y power 5 plus z power 5. I can write equal to 1 power 5 plus 1 power 5 plus z that is 4 power 5. So 1 power 5 is 1, 1 power 5 is 1, 4 I can write 2 power 2 whole power 5. Now using exponent property we can multiply these two powers. So I can write 1 plus 1 plus 2 power 10. 
now we know that 2 power 10 is 1024. So I can write our final answer 1 plus 1 plus 1024. So answer becomes 1026. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.